Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request you, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Question is, what is the major product of this reaction? By the way, before going to details, look at this molecule. This molecule is thalamide and there is actually a name reaction. Okay. So this reaction, if you have any doubt, I request you. I have already uploaded a dedicated lecture on it. Please visit that video. I shall provide the link in the description box as well as I button. After proton removal, whatever conjugate base is produced, I mean this N minus is doubly stabilized. How doubly stabilized? So you can see this lone pair could be in conjugation with carbonyl compound. I am drawing one of the structure. So I expect you can understand the another one. So this nitrogen, actually a nitrogen anion is produced here and this can act as student nucleophile. So nucleophile to whom? Second is chloroacetic acid. And chloroacetic acid is nothing but student alpha halo carbonyl compound. So this is a carbonyl derivative alpha halo carbonyl and we know that alpha halo carbonyl are very good for SN2 reaction. If you have any doubt in this statement, I shall provide a video link, please visit in the description box and I button. So here it will attack and it will leave. So product is, it is simply nothing but an SN2 reaction, substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. So in this way, here are N substituted. So N attached to CH2, C double or H is produced. This is the product of this reaction. Third stage, student third stage here given hydrazine, aqueous heat and worker. So these hydrazine will act as nucleophile. Now your question will be sir, is hydrazine a very good nucleophile? Yes student, hydrazine a very good nucleophile. Why? Because these two lone pairs on this nitrogen atom makes this molecule reactive. Why? Because this adjacent lone pair repels each other. So this adjacent lone pair repulsion makes this molecule more energetic as well as nucleophilic. Consequently, it goes and attack here, carbonyl group. Although you can say sir, uh, these amides have a cross conjugation, I mean such kind of conjugation. So this bond is not that much weaker, it's a strong bond for, and this carbonyl is not that much electron deficient also. Why this attack will happen? It's true that these molecule, this uh, N substituted thalamide derivative are less reactive, but hydrazine is very good, very highly nucleophilic. So consequently what it will produce, let me write it here. So it will produce, this is the benzene here double bond O, NH and NH2. So this is double bond O again, NH, C double OH. Agree, I am the proton exchange I have already included here. Now this part we understood. In the next phase, what you can expect? Here there is an another lone pair like this one. It is also reactive. So it will attack here and ultimately it will open up through acyl nucleophilic substitution. It will leave and ultimately it will produce this product. By the way, if you have any doubt in acyl nucleophilic substitution basic concept mechanism, please visit. I have already made a dedicated video on this topic too. So this is and what is gone along with that it produces this is NH2, CH2 and C double OH. By the way, this molecule has a name glycine and it is actually the smallest amino acid. You will learn it in the biomolecule. So one part is glycine, another part is this. And this reaction is possible only because of enhanced nucleophilicity of this hydrazine molecule. Okay. So this is the overall discussion for, from this. Now, by the way, you may ask one question, sir, why these hydrazine attack there? Why not other part, other type of reaction happened? That is because one statement student always remember. Intramolecular reactions are faster than intermolecular counterpart both thermodynamically and kinetically. That's why reaction preferentially happened because of these intramolecular fashion. So two nitrogen attacks. Now what is the right answer here? Obviously answer is option this product glycine. So it is actually student technique to prepare amino acid by Gabriel reaction or Gabriel thalamide reaction, this is the strategy. So now if you think why other option, other option student not possible because amide, no, 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 carboxylic acid I have taken, hydrazine will not produce amide. This is ketone, that's not also possible. So this is carboxylic acid, by the way, it is the intermediate which will be hydrolyzed 
by this and in this case student if you get this question in exam hall one thing i suggest uh, on the free page of your exam paper just write the intermediate that will help you otherwise such kind of long question may confuse you and you may end up in wrong products or that can consume more time rather than writing the st intermediate structure on pen and paper so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye